killing it on stage since 1692. Hey guys, name's Fen playing the Library of Babel. They're all normal, so let's be average. I think I had something else in my hand there that could be a spoiler that I didn't have in the regular game. But that's okay. That's okay. This is the interim mission, and so it's all good. And how you guys doing back from my break vacation? Here to talk loudly and have the game be excessively quiet for some reason. Hello, Garrett. Balthor said you would visit. <laughs> Welcome to the Library of Babylon. No, no, no. My name is Borges. I am one of the librarians. You are now in what we call the lobby. The entrance to the main library is upstairs. I have left you many notes around to help you understand this place better. Many notes? Who wants to hear that? That music is strangely climactic. For just being uh, in a readable. Read all the notes? Oh my god. I have to learn? I don't want to learn. Punk fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Anyways, you'll probably hear a lot of silly references because, because yeah. Well, it's another note. I wonder if this one disappears. No, it just sort of stops puffity poofing. Well, every note must be made to quit smoking. That's kind of why I'm here. Actually, they called me in because the epidemic of coughing was just horrible. As I said, you are in the lobby now where a small collection of books are kept. The main library, accessible from upstairs, is made of an enormous expanse of adjacent hexagonal rooms, each housing eight bookcases. In the middle of each room, there is the opening into nothingness, which we call the Void. As we die, our bodies are cast into the Void, and new librarians take our place. Um, excuse me. That, that music is just... I can't read without it distracting me, holy hell. The library is a sphere whose exact center is any one of its hexagons and whose circumference is inaccessible. The order and content of the books are random and apparently completely meaningless, but it is certain that the books contain every possible ordering of just a few basic characters, letters, numbers, spaces, and punctuation marks. In the vast library, there are no two identical books. Yeah, sorry, that music was just really distracting my obviously important task of reading. Looks like a door opened here. I don't know if that's an enemy starting to step walk up in here. Oh, hey, it's that freaking monk guy. How amazing. We can stare at his gorgeous visage forever. Rusted and stuck. Doesn't look rusted to me, but we gotta use our imaginations in this wonderful world of Disney. It doesn't look smooth, textured, animated to me, but we gotta use our imaginations in this wonderful world of Disney. Don Bluth. Although the majority of the books are nonsense, the library also contains every coherent book ever or might ever be written. Moreover, it houses every possible permutation or slightly erroneous version of every one of those coherent books. There is no personal or world problem whose eloquent solution does not exist in some hexagon. Just think about it. This library contains all useful information, including predictions of the future, biographies of any person, and translations of every book in all languages. Yes, I think this concept may have been taken from some kind of real-life legend or something. Just, I don't know, it sounds familiar. Also, it kind of sounds like the only Doctor Who episode I've ever seen. And, uh, yes, I know there's an older series too, but, like, whoever wants to talk about that is for grandpas and people who appreciate good things that are old, probably good. It is possible that we librarians may have been horribly mistaken about the nature of some of the books of nonsense. Some of these are assuredly copies of other books written in code, or phonetically, or even in unknown languages. Hidden in the meaninglessness of the library, there are works beyond human capacity to write. Even if the majority of the books appear to be meaningless, for many of them, some language could be devised that would make them readable with any of a vast number of different contents. After all, we are the ones who create the rules of the universe, aren't we? Of course we are. You have the power to create magic. But there are some silly-ass conditions that you must obey in order to use it. Such as weird stuff that cannot be spoken in the English tongue. So you have to say it in French. Guerre, mais refuge, garçon, recueil, non pareil. 
That is the code word. Use it well, my son. I think there's something in there. It's, it's pretty crazy. Oh man, I don't have a sword or weapons or anything, so I can't test for objects, but it's okay because this is a puzzle mission. And there's like everywhere possible to go. Now, I don't know if I'm going to remember more about this, but I do remember something about this rat, and I kind of remember something up top on a doorway somewhere, so let's see. Oh, you got to give him something. Let's give him a key! Uh -huh, uh -huh. He doesn't want to eat the key. What a disgusting guy. Well, this guy is no more evil. Perhaps there are no aggressive AI, and they're all just kind of, you know, non-assertive. But that would make it just pure puzzle, so that'd be cool. Since all books exist in the library, somewhere one of the books must be a perfect index of the library's contents. However, for the exact same reason, there are also certainly books of lies and falsehoods. This has interesting implications. For the perfect index, there will be many copies of false indices, claiming some false books to be true and some true books to be false. Pfft, blows your mind with a big old poster tube coming out of your head for some reason. Scanner brightly. That's a scanner brightly, just so you know. Absurd stuff! Have a cool aesthetic, though, with the stairs. Like I say, I like stairs that are kind of having spaces in them. It's just like a simple, weird thing to have a fetish for, but man, I do. All, all of my eight wives that I previously told you I have, well, they're all staircases, so it's okay. In case you were thinking I was too freakish, well, I'm not because I married a staircase. Um, okay, see, I think I missed something down here. I think... At the start, I kind of turned a couple of times and possibly missed some place. Of course. Yeah, like, oh. Um, is this, this, this isn't quite the start. Or is it? What? Oh, this is the other side of it. This room's probably the start. Okay, yeah, well, anyways, fine. Let's, let's try a key and somehow have it work. I guess these books are just going to pontificate on and on and on about how the library is mysterious, so let's read it again. Within this sea of nonsense, the most intelligible volumes I have seen in my lifetime have been entitled The Combed Thunderclap, The Plaster Cramp, and Axaxaxus Mulo. These phrases, at first glance incoherent, can no doubt be justified by saying they're pink in a cryptographical or allegorical manner. Many numbers of possible languages use the same vocabulary. In some of them, the symbol library allows the correct definition, a ubiquitous and lasting system of hexagonal galleries. But library can mean bread, or pyramid, or anything else in other languages, and these seven letters which define it can have another value. Garrett, are you sure of understanding my language? No, I'm not sure at all. I don't see why I need to read these notes. They seem a bit, uh, you know, pompous. The mirror is too dirty to be of use. Well, let's get this sponge that looks suspiciously like a cloth. If my mouse wheel will behave. <laughs> that's a little, that's a little odd. I remember having trouble with that, but I guess that's something I remember. Also, I remember a sponge in Ominous Bequest that you have to dip in water, so I associated sponges with the, uh, um, you know water. Also, sponges are actual cleaning implements. I was thinking of, like, sea sponges. What am... <laughs> what a, whatever, man. Okay, I've got a mirror. Okay, mirror. Done. Okay. Let us show the mirror to the rat, and he'll be so horrified by his own visage that he will not do anything. This is my master plan. Well, kind of masterly. I mean, I'm not a master of plans, but when it comes to plans, it's the best one I ever did right. Oh, Oh, there's a scary door. Where have I seen that door before? In some weird level? I know I've seen that door before. Yeah, well, I don't remember. This ladder is probably here for Zippo Zilch. Yeah, well, cool. Uh, cool, I'm, I'm stuck. Uh, that's, that's freaking great. I like your purple robe, very fashionable. Uh, it may be plum, but uh, who's to say? Um, hmm. Oh. Um... Ah. <laughs> of course, he can walk through because he's a ghost anyway, but yeah, I seem to be kind of going through this rather quickly, but that isn't a remembrance. That is just like an obvious thing. The remembrance was using the sponge. Man, there sure are a lot of doors that lead to confusing places that make me miss things. This could be part of the point of the mission, I admit. Because of this massive amount of information, this place could be completely useless to the reader. Some argue that, as a source of information, a library containing all possible books arranged at random is equivalent to a library containing zero books. 
kind of agree there, buddy. This notion has left many librarians in a state of suicidal despair, leading some to superstitions and cult-like behavior. The members of one of these cults have based their belief on the fact that there exists a librarian known as the Man of the Book, who has found and read the perfect index I told you about, and they travel through the galleries seeking him. But the galleries are rather small, so they don't find him because they're weird. Another sect suggested that the searches should cease, and that all men should juggle letters and symbols until they constructed, by an improbable gift of chance, this perfect index. Sounds religious, I guess. Oh, hey. I was going to miss that, but I decided not to. So no actual references to my amazing weekend as of yet. Uh, I seem to have lied again, but it was pretty amazing and uh, very fun. And it's stupid that it only happens once a year. It should happen every single day with nobody going to work and contributing to the economy. Because who cares about the economy? Lots of people. Not me, because I'm a self-entitled guy who lives off the government. This is the entrance to the library, the place I have been telling you about. This is where you can access every possible book. You don't need to enter it in... To... You don't need to enter it in order to fulfill your quest, but feel free to have a look. Just don't try to visit all the galleries. When you're finished, press the glyph by the doors. Oh, 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 oh. Let, let's give it a try, as it seems... I believe I've been teleported. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. This is familiar music. I think this was used in another mission. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is a cool looking library. And I've already forgotten what it said to do when I'm... Oh, the glyph by the door, right. So I guess I, it's really just... You get teleported back to the first one. And it's kind of infinite. Kind of adorable, but I guess that's what it is. Alrighty, well, uh, let's instead kind of carry on here. Well, that's not gonna do... Keys don't ever open more than one thing. That would be too convenient and permissive of Canadian-sounding 40-pounder guys to... By the way, when I say 40-pounder guy, I mean a... Uh, I mean a uh, guy in reflective clothing working at some sort of construction or recycling yard or other dirty manual labor. Not dirty, but just, you know, getting your hands dirty. Wearing a helmet and going like, uh... Oh, oh, yeah, let me, let me, let me see that. Let me lift up the big 40-pound box. Oh, that's about 40 pounds. Oh, chuck it in the Gaylord over there. And by the way, Gaylord means large box without a lid. Uh, but they have to call it a Gaylord because I guess a company called Gaylord Boxes Without Lids Incorporated made them. And construction people are, are odd, I tell ya. Okay, so I bought a lamp. It's an oil lamp. <laughs> and, come on, pop filter, do your job. I had to make you out of a pair of pantyhose and everything. You don't want to reward me for my humiliation. And I do not mean 40 pounder with cheese. Because I think even for us Murricans, that is a little much. I'm not a Murrican, I'm a... I'm an a -ian. Do you realize, Garrett, that somewhere within these rooms there's at least one book that contains this text you are reading now? Yeah, it's this one. Or there is a book that tells the story of your life, all that has been and all that will be. If you ever find it, feel free to read it. How does anyone know that these books are infinite and stuff? <sighs> They're just saying it, you know, like, oh, these books, oh. So I guess I haven't still achieved that objective. What do I do with an oil lamp? <laughs> I guess I could try giving it to the rat like everything else, but let's be fair here. Okay, there's some doorway, I swear, that... You have to look up to find something. What's this? I've been here, and that's a great... Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, fair enough. I guess I need some sort of rod or crowbar to get that key from there. Oh, oh. Well, at least we have me not knowing what to do, so that's always an entertaining time. So says me. Because I'm R.D. Dash, the pioneer of breaking the social rule that you're not allowed to say you're awesome if you blatantly are. And although she was called a jerk in her time and, and not liked by weird people and weirdos, she was later liked more by only me. Pretty great. Right. I remember looking for a solution to something and having to look above a doorway or maybe even below a doorway doorway something i thought there was maybe a cobweb or something mm. rusted and stuck well there's oil in the lamp 
<laughs> Your hands are oily now. That probably means that I can't turn this, except I can. That probably means some other puzzle shall occur. Hey, it's lowering water. How weird. It's probably just an object, I guess. Hey, small rock. And again, I can pick it up with oily hands, but we don't talk about that. Oh, what? Okay, so I've got a small rock. It's in my eye. Let's toss it through there, which would be stupid if we could do that because it would kind of ruin everything. There you go. Well, you can't even do anything, so I guess you've got to put it somewhere. Oh, and maybe there's like a pressure plate, or maybe you gotta throw it. You know, I think you have to throw this. Upwards in a damn door. Where? Why am I having? Ah! I knew my memory wasn't playing a trick on me. How did this get up? Now it's cheese. I have no idea what to do with this. No. Does this guy want cheese because he's purple and purple guys like cheese? Maybe you gotta put it here and it will bash the hole in for you? Could it have something to do with these boards? Oh my god! Okay, okay. Joke's over. What's that rat doing? He's going up somewhere. Perhaps he's gonna give me a key because that's kind of what rats do in these thief missions or I have to try to follow him up or something. Oh, no. Hey, there we go. Poppity poppity pop. Thank you, rat. Petity 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 pet. Okay, well it should be one of these rooms then. Oh, well. Another cult is the purifiers who invade the hexagons and arbitrarily destroy books they deem nonsense by casting them into the void. However, they neglect two notable facts. One, the library is so enormous that any reduction of human origin is infinitesimal. The other, they fail to realize that the library cannot be damaged by the destruction of any of its books, because even though a single book is unique and irreplaceable, there are many, many similar books differing only by a single letter or a punctuation mark. I suppose so. Hey, I can't read that thing in the garbage. So I put it the Barely comprehensible fan. Oh, hey. Hey, is this the uh, rat place? Oh, so it is. It's a walking cane. Oh, crap. I have parted Gandalf from his thing. Gonna just go ahead and assume, yeah. Her. Oh, hello, my darling, whatever. <laughs> no. Oh. Tricky. He knew you would try that, but it doesn't work. I wonder why that doesn't my hands are all oily. Does that does that mean anything? Well the, can I wash my hand sponge oil lamp walking cane <sighs> Wow, I'm at a loss now. What the deal with this? Wonder if I gotta fill this with water somehow. This cane must be used for something, then reaching a button or something, maybe? Wait. I can bring that back. Well, there must be a reason for that. Can I, like, wash my hands now? Well, evidently not. I think it's conspicuous how you can turn it back on. Can't pick the little pebble rock back up, just so you know. Don't be touching them cute little baby bird squawkers. Minotaurs, though, they're fair game. Just make sure they weren't conceived while on vacation in Asia. Oh. Glue. Too sticky to put in my pocket. Glue. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa! Who's the man who scours every inch of the level till he stumbles on a solution? That's me! I'm that man, key from the drain. Well, this is the special room. It's got old crates and empty shelves. It's suspicious looking. Oh yeah, and shit. Okay. The library is falling apart, but in a very mundane, earth-like way. Oh, this is that room. Okay. Great, now I'm in somebody's attic. This whole thing looks a bit suspect to me. That candle looks like melted gold, but gold doesn't melt with just a candle flame. This must be the last book. Like all men of the library, I have traveled in my youth. 
I have wandered in search of a book, perhaps the catalogue of catalogues. Now that my eyes can hardly decipher what I write, I am preparing to die just a few leagues from the hexagon in which I was born. But there's no facilities for birth or midwifery or hospitalness at all, so your birth was pretty terribs. Once I am dead, there will be no lack of pierced hands to throw me over the railing. My grave will be the fathomless air. My body will sink endlessly and decay and dissolve in the wind generated by the fall, which is infinite. It seems you are ready to leave, Garrett. Before you go, let me tell you this. The library is indeed infinite. There are many who argue that the combination of all the letters is of finite value, but they forget that only the possible number of books does have such a limit. The library is unlimited and cyclical. If an eternal traveler were to cross it in any direction, after centuries he would see that the same volumes were repeated in the same disorder. My solitude is gladdened by this elegant hope. This is your exit point, Garrett. You can leave after you have read all my notes. You still have much to fulfill back in your own world. Farewell. Okay, well, let's leave, baby. I said, let's leave, baby. Oh, there we go. Oh. And that's where we'll come back next time. So see you guys then, and bye for now.